What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm going to show you I actually bought some more of the Mexican Libertad coins. These are one of my all-time favorites, uh, but I didn't just buy individuals, I bought a whole bank sealed roll. And in this video, I'm going to crack it open. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. This is going to be a fun video. I'm very excited for this one. I bought a whole roll of Libertads from Mexico. One of my all-time favorite silver bullion coins. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love the look of them. In fact, uh, let's see, I've got nine here on the table. These are the only nine that I own. Uh, well, until I bought this whole roll. Uh, but the reason I actually bought this roll of them was because I got an exceptionally good deal from my local coin shop, but also because these are just one of my favorite types of silver. I mean, come on, look at these absolutely gorgeous pieces of silver this one here is from 1984 um, and in fact they even have the lettering on the edge there it does say uh, libertad uh, so really cool and then uh, ob obviously this is the uh, i believe the obverse actually um, it's got the big eagle on there with the snake it's not a bald eagle it's a different type of eagle but uh, let's see if I can say this right. Estados Unidos Mexicanos, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but anyway, these are gorgeous. I love these coins, and I'm really excited to break open this roll. So let's do that. Uh, this is my only one I have from 1984. Um, I do have one from, let's see, 1994, which does have the reed edge, doesn't have the plain edge. Um, and then I have one from... 1982 and then i have all these ones up top are from 1985 and i think this whole roll is from 1985 you can kind of see it down there in the bottom left corner 1985 so i'm not sure if the one on top is going to be the only toner or if they're all going to be toned uh, if you've never seen one of these rolls before it's a uh, banco de mexico <laughs> bank of mexico but it's actually a sealed roll here. So uh, these actually do go for a little bit more money. 20 onzas right there is what it says. Uh, some people like to get the rolls that are sealed. Um, if you were to buy this on eBay, I seen them going for like 430 to 500 plus dollars. So sometimes the whole roll can be worth more than the coins individually. Uh, but I actually got this. Uh, I'll just tell you guys, I got it for under 400 bucks. So... Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. He gave me a great deal. Uh, so thank you to Dennis down at Center Street Gold and Silver in Tigard, Oregon. But anyway, let's just break it open. I'm not exactly sure uh, how to do it, so I guess I'll just start working at it. But uh, yeah, uh, people, I guess, might be upset that I'm opening this. But, you know, hey, I bought it and I want to feel the silver in my hands and, and, you know, see what it looks like and all that stuff. So I want to open it and, oh, look at that. Oh, there's a shot right there. Look at that. Woo! Oh, man. Yes! Oh, yeah. This is going to be cool. I just... Ah, look at that. So gorgeous. I love that edge with the lettering on it. I wish more countries did that on their coins. I mean, obviously, they don't do this anymore. This was just on the older style. But right there, look at that shot. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. Let's actually take off this plastic from the top and let's look at the top one first before we get into the whole roll. I think this was going to be the toner. Yeah, look at that. Very nicely toned. Uh, sort of just on the outside, you can see it's got uh, a little bit of orange in there. So some pretty nice toning. It is a 1985. One lay, 999. Plata pura. Pure silver. One onza nice these are cool and i like how they flip over top to bottom just like the american silver eagles do uh, so it's just like u.s currency flips top to bottom not right to left or whatever but uh really cool so that was the top one that was the top toner i'm assuming the rest are going to be uh bu pretty much so let's pull another one out and then we'll check out the whole roll let's see if this one's got any toning 
not really any toning so pretty much just the top one this one's actually in very good condition that is gorgeous just a little bit of scratching maybe on the top but uh, these are so cool i love these i'm so happy to have a whole roll of these i mean now i've got 29 and uh, this one's also 1985 so i think they're all going to be 1985s let's go ahead and finish out this whole roll and we'll just dump them out there we go i think that's there might be one or two left in the bottom there yep yeah just one i think okay so let's check out the bottom one see if that has any interesting toning so if you get a roll like this and you open it up this is pretty much what you can expect looks like they're probably all going to be 1985s i don't really know why there would be different years mixed in there so a little bit of toning on the one on the bottom just on the corner there uh, but these are look at that luster on that that is incredible these are really good looking i mean i wonder if the ones in the middle are pretty much just perfect bu i don't know i don't think i'm going to show them all on camera but these do have some nice luster i mean look at that coin wow just sitting in that tube for 35 years <laughs> and then in 2020 cracking it open wow look at that that is absolutely gorgeous and i wonder if anyone's even ever touched these with their hands before am i the first person to touch these with their hands <laughs> maybe i should be wearing gloves <gasps> no it's okay i like to play with my silver and these are bullion pieces and obviously they're scratched and whatnot like you can see this one does have some scratches on it but uh, yeah super cool and i love this too look at all the edges edges <laughs> little shout out to uh, do you guys know who i'm shouting out right there silver seeker yes he does coin roll hunting awesome channel go check out silver seeker edges <laughs> i can't do it as good as he does it but uh yeah really cool so there you go there was breaking open a whole roll of 1985 mexican libertad coins really cool now um i'll probably still buy these if i can find them cheap so i'll be looking for these uh cheap in the future and if i can find them for like two bucks over spot or less i'll probably pick up some more i think it'd be really cool to own uh a hundred of these wouldn't that be sweet just a hundred of these mexican silver coins oh that would be awesome so maybe that'll be a goal of mine i've got 29 now so i'm almost a third of the way there so uh, i think i can do it but i really want to get some more years some of the years are harder to get um like I mentioned, I only have four different years. So let's see if we can get them all in one shot here. Um, and then a couple of the years have different types. So here's all the four years that I have. The 82, 84, 94, and uh, 85, of course. I've got the most of those. Um, the 94 is not the only one with a reeded edge. So the 95 also has the reeded edge so if you get a 1994 or 1995 the edge will look like this it will not have the lettering which i don't like that as much honestly i'm not as much of a fan when it when it's because i like the older style for the edge lettering i mean i'll just put them up side by side you know you tell me which one's cooler <laughs> the one with letters on it right so uh i'm not as big of a fan as the 94 or the 95 but then once you get to 1996 it looks completely different it's not this style at all it's the newer style so anyway i like the older style better i think these are cooler and more beautiful whatever and so these are my favorites but uh the ones that are oh look at that one that is very interesting tony i wonder what gave it that uh distinctive pattern i don't even think i've seen that on there that is cool it must have been uh yeah in uh stored in such a way where it was just the the air or whatever got to it right in those spots but that's pretty sweet it actually gives it some detail on the eagle there you can see uh but anyway uh the ones that have different types like letter types i believe it is are the 1991 and the 1992 so i'm really wanting to get uh a 91 with both types so i can show you the two different letter types uh, but the rest of them all basically, I think, have just one type per coin for the whole year. 
Uh, so it would be really sweet to get one of every year, you know, sort of have a, a collection of these. People do like collecting these. They are fun to collect. But some of those older years, I mean, they're really expensive, really expensive. Um, and so you kind of have to just buy them when you see them and maybe you just get one or two at a time or whatever and slowly, you know, get the whole collection. But I think they're cool. I think they're awesome. And the Anzas that were before this were actually Sterling. So these, I think, are the first three nines fine uh, bullion coins to come out of Mexico. I might be wrong. Um, maybe someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I know the Anzas before this were actually Sterling silver. Um, so there you go. But anyway, really cool. That was fun opening that roll. I had a blast doing that. That was sort of my little like gift to myself after I finished my monster box of American Silver Eagles. I've been wanting to pick up more of these for quite some time. So I'm glad I did. That was that was fun. If you had fun watching, uh, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I do want to say thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons out.